Welcome back everyone to the Mori Garage. In this episode, we're gonna be installing our CPE hot side charge pipe, CPE XL kit with our tile blow off valve. Stay tuned. <laughs> The first thing we're going to start installing is these hot side charge pipes. I just wanted to do an unboxing for you guys since I did it with the intercooler as well. Uh, I did already open this one up and go through it, but here is the hot side charge pipe from CPE. I did go with the race red. There is the stickers. There's the informational postcard. Here is the booklet that has everything. It has all of your instructions for installing back here. It comes with everything that you need. I am filming this ahead of time. So the only thing that will not be in this install is going to be this 90 degree elbow because I had to go ahead and open this up and use this for the turbo install because I had to tap the end for the vacuum source. I already have my 90 degree fitting on the turbo. That's where this end is going to connect. You will have this 32 degree elbow that's going to go from the charge pipe to the new intercooler that I already installed. Here's all the hose clamps. These are going to be the three that are going to attach to this one. And then one is going to attach to the 90 degree elbow that's on the turbo. They actually provide one more that is a smaller clamp that actually connects the 90 degree elbow to the turbo itself. It does not mount in the stock locations. Here are going to be your two mounts. CPE provides these two bolts here and two washers to mount it up. And I will show you what that looks like when I get this thing mounted up. The hot side is on. I'm just gonna share with you guys the easiest way that I found to put this thing on. It seems very simple, but it is kind of difficult to get things to line up with these couplers because you do have to twist and turn them a little bit. So what I did is I put this coupler on, the 32 degree, on the intercooler first. Make sure you put both the hose clamps, the one that's gonna clamp it to the intercooler, and the one back here that's gonna clamp it to your charge pipe itself. And so obviously you can kind of see there's a little bit of space. This is not gonna slide up all the way. But I put this coupler on first, then you should already have the coupler back here attached to your turbo. And I put this hose clamp on here as well. Then what I did is kind of lined this up just a little bit. It didn't go really go in just exactly. I knew I was gonna have to twist it a little bit, but I got it lined up just enough to where I knew I could put it in here, and I knew that I could put it in right here. Then I went ahead and put both bolts in here and here. I did not tighten them down all the way. As a matter of fact, I only screwed them in maybe of one full turn just so that it was held in place. Then I made sure to get these lined up so that these would not move. Got these lined up, tighten these down. Don't forget to tighten the one at the turbo also. And then tighten this one down and this one down. And then I went ahead and finished tightening this and this bolt. Install the XL kit with the tile blow off valve. This is everything that CPE provides. Again, I went with the race red. You're gonna have this 90 degree elbow. You're gonna have this coupler that's straight over here. This is gonna be the tubing that's gonna run from your blow off valve up to your vacuum source. You've also got four hose clamps, some zip ties, one bolt, one nozzle. CPE also provides some extra things. They provide this map tap for a vacuum source for your new blow off valve. CPE also provides this block off plate for your stock bypass valve if you're still using your stock turbo. With the XL kit, I decided to go with the tile blow-off valve. So they send you the blow-off valve itself, an O-ring to seal it to the charge pipe, this V-band clamp that will actually attach it to the flange that they weld on there. And then you will also have your nipple that will actually go to your vacuum source. The first thing that I would normally have to do is remove this coupler from the intercooler, but because I've already installed my new CPE intercooler, I didn't reconnect this. Next, you're gonna come up top and you're gonna unattach the hose clamps on the coupler that is attaching the charge pipe to the throttle body. Once you loosen this top clamp all the way, you can come up from underneath the car, just grab the pipe and pull straight down, it'll come right out. Before I get the pipe installed, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the tile blow-off valve to the pipe. We're going to use the V-band clamp that they provide to attach it. Don't forget to put the O-ring on the inside here to seal it off. This is what it'll look like when you're done. 
The easiest way I found to do this was to put the V-band clamp on the pipe itself first, slide it all the way down and over, then put your O-ring in your blow-off valve, attach it to the pipe, and then slide your V-band clamp up and tighten it down. Now we'll take our coupler and attach it to the top of the pipe. The large end goes in the pipe, the smaller end is actually what's going to go to the throttle body. Once you get it on, you'll put one of the larger hose clamps on the bottom and go ahead and put the smaller hose clamp at the top as well. Then we're going to go ahead and attach it to the throttle body and tighten this top one down. Once you get this test fit on the car, make sure you know where you want your nipple to point. Then you can go ahead and install it on the blow-off valve for your vacuum line. Now you can install your 90 degree elbow on the intercooler. The smaller end with the smaller clamp is going to go to the intercooler. The larger end is going to go to the other end of your charge pipe. Before you start fitting your 90 degree elbow to your intercooler, you can drop this radiator bracing down. It's two bolts that sit up top and they go straight into these two nuts here and back here. It'll give you a lot more room to get that fitting in there. I just want to share this with you guys because I did things a little bit differently than what I explained before. What I did first is actually attached the coupler to the manifold up there first. Then I attached the 90 degree elbow to the intercooler. After that, what I did is just kind of maneuvered the pipe to where I could get it fit just in there and then shoved it up into the coupler that is attached to the manifold. So here's another look at it from the intercooler side. So here's your 90 degree elbow going over. You can see it running under. Don't forget to tighten your hose clamps down. Up top, up here, you can kind of see how I have my hose clamps attached. I did this one first, which is actually attached to the manifold. Then what I did is slid the bottom one onto the pipe, fit the pipe up into the coupler, then slid the hose clamp up and tighten this one down. I'm going to go ahead and install this map tap. To install your map tap, the first thing that you're going to have to do is remove this Torx screw right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and install this fitting onto the map tap. After you remove your factory map sensor, this is your map tap. Make sure you put the torque screw there first. The original map sensor is going to plug into here with the O-ring, just like that. This O-ring will go into the factory location, and then you'll use the bolt provided to connect these two. After you get it installed, it'll look just like this. After you get your map tap on, you can run your vacuum line from your map tap all the way around. You can see it running all the way down, and if you come underneath, you can see the blow-off valve and right there where it runs to. Now that we have the XL kit with the new Tom blow-off valve installed, it's time to go ahead and reinstall the intake. When I bought this car, it already had an aftermarket Cobb air intake. The only thing is, with our new turbo, it's going to be a larger outlet. So we're going to remove this Cobb coupler and we're going to replace it with this coupler that ATB provided with the turbo. This end right here is going to go down into the 90 degree elbow that comes up from the inlet to the turbo. We're going to clamp this down on that. This side is going to clamp down on this end. And then this end is going to go up to here. There is my 90 degree elbow coming off of the intake on the turbo. And then here is the fitting that I just added with the little aluminum piece in the center to bring it straight upward. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys everything. This was very frustrating actually. Uh, so what I ended up having to do is actually disconnect my vacuum line on the 90 degree elbow, pull the elbow off of the intake on the turbo, pull it out, get the aluminum fitting in there because it was very, it's a very, very tight fit and I could not get it in there while this was still in the car. Because this car has an aftermarket intake, this Cobb intake, it would not fit exactly right into the ATP coupler that they provide. So what I ended up doing is actually leaving the stock coupler that Cobb has on there and sticking the smaller end down into the coupler that ATP provides and then tightening with the hose clamp from there. I have everything connected for the intake. Don't forget to line this up and reinstall your bolt here. Don't forget to reconnect both of your wiring plugs. We're going to go and try to start this thing up and hope for the best. Check and make sure there's no leaks. 